Hello everyone, it's Elmer again, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. I'm here in Paramata to investigate a fault or an alarm in one of the tamper switches for the sprinkler system. Let's investigate. These are tamper switches they are used to monitor for any tampering of this bulb or any valve, right? So if you close this, that will create an alarm in the tamper switch and short circuit the line, the conventional line for that and activate an alarm in the system. So that's used to monitor this bulb. There are other tamper switches like that one. That's for the diesel. pump which is the uh, 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 shall I say discharge and this one is for tamper switch for the electric pump intake and then there's the discharge so our problem right now is this tamper switch okay when I open it there's some corrosion and it just went on alarm and right now there's a problem here and we need to replace that to clear the alarm on the bias system. Okay, this is the new tamper that I have. So I'm going to replace this old one with this new one. Same brand, same uh, model. So let's start doing this. So to give you a quick look, okay, this is the tamper switch inside. So this level, this one, is the one that switching the tamper switch. Look at that. Okay, so so if they close the ball, it will create a switching. So the switching right now that's normally open, and then when they close the ball, it will click and short circuit the resistor there. So that's a switching okay so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to install it here all right that's how it's done The way we connect the tamper switches is there's a micro switch there in the middle. So it should be sitting there. This thing that is movable, this one is movable. So it has to be sitting there, the tamper. So any movement will create from a normally open circuit where we're connecting it, will create a close. So that means it's short circuiting the wire that come that coming from here, coming from here and then create a short circuit alarm in the system. My switching is right now open, on a normally open. So if I shut this valve, I'm uh, sorry, if I open this valve, there's no problem. But if I shut this valve, look what will happen. Okay, it creates a short circuit. So no short circuit alarm means this valve has been moved and either halfway or totally shut okay so we just connect we're going to connect our cable to this normally open switching and we're going to test that later on so we completed our job for today so we were able to replace this tamper switch so that's the one that's creating the problem then we're going to normalize the system or i 
No, at least the system is no automatically normalized itself. So there's the file indicating panel. You can see that. So everything is normal. All right. Okay. So there are other tamper switches here in the building, like this one, the sprinkler tamper switches. See that one, two, and three. So these tamper switches are installed. Uh, connected in parallel so any of these three that you shut it will create a sprinkler bulb alarm and the others are for the electric pump alarm uh, this one is a tamper for the electric pump and the other one is the tamper pump all right that is for now Thank you for watching my channel. I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of my videos. This is Elmer again, your fire protection guy. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Thank you.